rebound here. This is my second zero day. I got in midday Saturday. I stayed all day Sunday and today and today is Monday. I have been wondering what to do about my foot and on my um, on my first full day here, I walked to Walmart and I got some food to cook here on the hot plate because I figured I was going to be here several days and that would be less expensive. So it just about killed my foot walking all the way down to Walmart. It was over a mile there and over a mile coming back and my foot was just screaming. So I went into the outfitter and I asked them if I could do work for stay, which is something that some hostels do. They allow you to do work around the hostel for your stay, rather than paying for your stay. And since I was gonna have to be here multiple days, I asked them and he said, well, that's up to Bunny. And Bunny just happened to be standing there. She's the caretaker of the place and she is an absolute sweetheart. I love her. And she said, well, I'll think about it. So later that day, she came and told me that I could do it. And 
So today I did the laundry, which is quite a bit. It is, uh, there's a lot of laundry when you have a hostel. So I washed the sheets and the towels and the loaner clothes and dried them and folded them. And then when Bunny got here, she had me wash the uh, glass front door and also sweep the stairs, the wooden stairs that are the, the entrance up into the hostel. And other than that, I have been icing my foot when I've had downtime. I have cooked the food that I bought. I have worked on editing videos and been keeping tabs on the laundry. And that's it. At this point, I don't know what to say. This morning was probably the first morning in a while that I have not felt crippled, uh, that I did not have excruciating pain with every step when I first tried to walk in the morning. I did something yesterday that might not have been a great thing, and that was that I didn't wear my new shoes. Oh, I forgot to mention that Sparrow was staying here, and I talked to her again, and she suggested, she kept saying, I, I wish we could just build up that, that um, support in there, and she suggested that I get some insoles. So I bought some Soul brand, S-O-L-E brand insoles, and I could tell an immediate difference in the support that I had on my arch and around my heel. So I decided today, well, I need to be wearing those shoes for the support because that's what Sparrow thought would help me the most were the shoes and the support. So I wore those and I could almost walk normally, still had pain, but not near as bad as it was yesterday. I'm continuing the anti-inflammatories, I'm continuing the icing, I'm continuing the elevating, and that's where I'm at today. Um, other than that, I don't know what to say. I don't know how long I'm going to have to stay here. I don't want to do the same thing I did in Damascus, which was take off too early and just have it go back to being as bad as it was when I hobbled in here. So that is the report today. I, I just don't know what else to say. I'm trying to take it one day at a time and trust that God has a plan and um, not try to make my own plan, but just go with the flow. I told you all at the very beginning that that is one of my goals to learn to go with the flow and um, not try to take control of everything. So that is it for now. This is Rebound signing out. Mm -hmm.